We call it MGT for short, but Mean Green Training, man, is really built upon three words we really believe in, which is believe, achieve, and receive. With the combination of the three, uh, we create this environment at all of our boot camps, whether they're indoors or outdoors, and literally bring the inner you out. And once you preserve and present the inner you, then whether it's what you want or what you don't want, our goal is to get it to where you want it to be. So in other words, we really work hard on believing in our goals, working hard to achieve our goals, and finally, not stopping at the finish line. All right, get somebody high five, say give me 100%. What's the catch? No catch. No catch. Guys, it's mandatory, ladies, this is optional. One push-up with one twist, one push-up with one twist. And you just push through it. That's, I, I guess that's my theme of the day, lady. You just push through it. Mean Green Training is beyond just working out. You know, of course we want to get results with our physical realm and our internal, but love is not for just yourself. It's for others. So as we go out and love the community, we all know we did a, a raise for donations when it came to clothing for children and also for women. And as you can see, we're doing something for children with school supplies. So it's a bigger picture beyond just your physical realm. We want to go out and not just do this for the city of Houston, but for the world. How many of you guys want to be successful in life? Okay, okay. Sounds pretty good. Now I want to I I ask you a couple of questions. The first question is, what do you deserve in life? What do you deserve? What else? What else? I wanted to be what I didn't see. You know, I didn't see what I am today. I didn't see what I'm seeing in everyday routines. You know, the only thing I seen were re refinery workers or school teachers that were in my neighborhood. You know, of course, you've seen the Huxtables on TV. You've seen Will Smith, um, uncle being, a, I guess, a judge. But I didn't see the things that I wanted to see. So my goal, my passion was to go beyond what I see and make what I want to create. So you do wrong, you do right, they're going to love you. You're gonna have 25% of the world that will love you, but tend to hate you after a while because of who you are and what you do. You have 25% of the world that will hate you, but end up loving you for who you become. And then you just have 25% of the world that just will not like you no matter what you do. So when it comes to criticism, when it comes to the world feeling like they're putting a block on you, it's just criticism and it's just the world. The truth of the matter is somebody's gonna do it. Why not you? You know, with trial and error, with research, with seeing countless people transform their lives. I know without a shadow of a doubt I can give them a system, whether it's becoming happy or finding joy or peace or maybe losing weight or maybe just believing in themselves and gaining confidence. I know without a shadow of a doubt with the countless people that myself and my team has worked with, I know a proven system to ultimately give them the desires of their heart. You hit a goal and you make new goals. So we hit all our goals on reaching out to foundations with women and children and school supplies and clothing. Now I just want to take it up to another level and, and not just help the inner city now I want to go to the outer city I want to go to other cities I want to go to other states and eventually go to other countries whether it's food whether it's supplies living conditions whatever it may be it is definitely a bigger picture that I'm planning